Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is another Church Community Project Teasers and it's almost a follow-on from the language clubs that we mentioned before where we set up a language club and learn a language of some of the people groups that are around about us in our churches and our communities and we connect. However, International Cafe International Cafe is a concept whereby with soft chairs, comfy chairs, you can bridge in and you can engage and invite all those international people groups that are in and around your area. Quite often, international cafes operate on a student populace, a student population, whereby if you've got a local university, a local college or a local um uh, what's it called? A local partnership program that bridges in and brings people over, uh, like interns and uh, transfer program. Those are the sorts of people that are drawn in to an international cafe. However, international cafe, it can be of any demographic, any age group, and you could pull international minded people into an international cafe. You can do it around experiences. You could get people to lead in that group, um, talking about their home uh, country, their hometown, their home culture, social aspects to that, uh, religious aspects, etc., etc., presenting their um, home, their place of origin through food, through uh, social media through you know presentations etc and physical life examples of things artifacts um, prevalent in their home grown um, origins that's a way of then bridging and relationally walking with people and understanding differences in culture in politics in social values etc but of course also identifying the similarities. That's a melting pot where all these communities can bring in a flavour of their own. Then you can obviously present what it means to be uh, British perhaps. I mean sometimes that's not spoken about or a popular view these days, but to explain some of the history of the United Kingdom what these individuals are coming into to be part of and to engage in and actually show them that it's an outward looking country historically bringing in many uh, different cultures and different people groups working with them maybe good bad and ugly in historical terms maybe even in current day terms uh, politically and you know war and factions and why people are coming Maybe that's not a positive in your eyes, but bringing it and turning everything into a positive that we have this influx of diversity and wonderful individuals that can offer and bring so much, whatever their circumstances for bringing them here um, for the reasons that they may have left. Um, we can obviously nurture, undergird, and support and work alongside those individuals who offer so much in so many ways. So we can bring them together and then uh, go to day trips in and around the United Kingdom. We could actually do presentations of different parts of the country, the history, what makes this country, um, in my eyes, such a great country, and that being the bedrock of the word of God and bringing in the fact that all our laws, all our institutions and all our history is built on the bedrock of the word of God and how missionaries went out and just sharing a little bit of that history so individuals can know in an international cafe what we stand for distinctly as the church, how we've got there where we've come from and how we aim to move forward as the church in the 21st century, connecting and engaging with every single person 
in our communities, in our neighbourhoods, in our streets, and building an environment that is drip fed with the gospel, living out the teachings of the gospel day by day by day, and being gospel orientated people as we bridge them into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. So international cafes, whether they be student based, linking in with partner organisations, universities, colleges, schools, etc. Or whether they be international based, drawing in all individuals from all aspects and ages of life and providing that safe, nurturing environment that can support, signpost and engage with those individuals and learn from them as learning together relationally and bridging them into the church. Do contact us for more details in the about section or feel free to comment, like and share this video. God bless you all. Amen.